And, and leading the world to space helped America achieve new heights of prosperity here on Earth. Hello everyone, this video is going to cover the top 10 US presidents as of 2022. So without any further ado, let's check it out. Number 10. James Monroe James Monroe was an American statesman, lawyer, diplomat and founding father who served as the fifth US president from 1817 to 1825. As president, Monroe signed the Missouri Compromise which admitted Missouri as a slave state and banned slavery from territories in the North. In 1823, Monroe announced the United States' opposition to any European intervention in the recently independent countries of the Americas with the Monroe Doctrine, which became a landmark in American foreign policy. Monroe was a member of the American Colonization Society which supported the colonization of Africa by freed slaves, and Liberia's capital of Monrovia is named in his honor. Following his retirement in 1825, Monroe was plagued by financial difficulties and died on the 4th of July 1831 in New York City, sharing a distinction with Presidents John Adams and Thomas Jefferson of dying on the anniversary of the US independence. Number 9. James K. Polk James Knox Polk was the 11th President of the United States serving from 1845 to 1849. He previously was the 13th Speaker of the House of Representatives from 1835 to 1839 and the 9th Governor of Tennessee from 1839 to 1841. Polk is chiefly known for extending the territory of the United States through the Mexican-American War. During his presidency, the United States expanded significantly with the annexation of the Republic of Texas, the Oregon Territory, the Mexican Session, following American victory in the Mexican-American War. He secured a substantial reduction of tariff rates with the Volcker Tariff of 1846. The same year, he achieved his other major goal the re-establishment of the independent treasury system. True to his campaign pledge to serve only one term, Polk left office in 1849 and returned to Tennessee, where he died three months after leaving the White House. Number 8. John F. Kennedy Ask not what your country can do for you Ask what you can do for your country. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, often referred to by his initials as JFK, was an American politician who served as the 35th President of the United States from 1961 until his assassination near the end of his third year in office. Born into the prominent Kennedy family in Brooklyn, Massachusetts, Kennedy graduated from Harvard University in 1940. During World War II, he commanded a series of PT boats in the Pacific. Kennedy's survival of the sinking of PT-109 and rescue of his fellow crew made him a war hero. In the 1960 presidential election, he narrowly defeated Republican opponent Richard Nixon, who was the incumbent vice president. As President, Kennedy confronted mounting Cold War tensions in Cuba, Vietnam and elsewhere. He also led a renewed drive for public service and eventually provided federal support for the growing civil rights movement. Kennedy proceeded over the establishment of Peace Corps, Alliance for Progress with Latin America and the continuation of the Apollo program with the goal of landing a man on the moon before 1970. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. On November 22, 1963, he was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson assumed the presidency upon Kennedy's death. After Kennedy's death, 
Congress enacted many of his proposals including the Civil Rights Act and the Revenue Act of 1964. Number 7 Thomas Jefferson Thomas Jefferson, author of the Declaration of Independence and the third US President, was a leading figure in American early development. During the American Revolutionary War, Jefferson served in the Virginia Legislature and the Continental Congress and was the Governor of Virginia. He later served as US Minister to France and US Secretary of State and was the Vice President under John Adams. Jefferson, a Democratic Republican who thought the national government should have a limited role in citizens' lives, was elected President in 1800. During his two terms in office, the U.S. purchased the Louisiana Territory and Lewis and Clark explored the vast new acquisition. Although Jefferson promoted individual liberty, he also was a slave owner. After leaving office, he returned to his Virginia plantation, Monticello, and helped found the University of Virginia. Number 6. Harry S. Truman Harry S. Truman was the 33rd President of the United States serving from 1945 to 1953. He was chosen as incumbent President Roosevelt's running mate for the 1944 presidential election. As President Truman ordered the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and implemented the Marshall Plan to rebuild the economy of Western Europe and establish both the Truman Doctrine and NATO to contain the expansion of communism. He proposed numerous liberal domestic reforms, but few were enacted by the conservative coalition that dominated the Congress. After the onset of the Cold War, Truman oversaw the Berlin Airlift and the Marshall Plan in 1948. When North Korea invaded South Korea in 1950, he gained United Nations approval to intervene in the Korean War. He did not ask for congressional approval, and as the war stalemated, his popularity fell. His administration successfully guided the U.S. economy through the post-war economic challenges. The expected post-war depression never happened. Number 5. Dwight D. Eisenhower as Supreme Commander of Allied Forces in Western Europe during World War II. Dwight D. Eisenhower led the massive invasion of Nazi-occupied Europe that began on D-Day, June 6, 1944. In 1952, leading Republicans convinced Eisenhower to run for president. He won convincingly, serving two terms in the White House between 1953 and 1961. During his presidency, Eisenhower managed Cold War-era tensions with the Soviet Union under the looming threat of nuclear weapons ended the war in Korea in 1953 and authorized a number of covert anti-communist operations by the CIA around the world. On the home front where America was enjoying a period of relative prosperity, Eisenhower strengthened social security, created a massive new interstate highway system. On July 29, 1958, Eisenhower signed the National Aeronautics and Space Act, establishing NASA. Though popular throughout his administration, he faltered in the protection of civil rights for African Americans by failing to fully enforce the Supreme Court mandate for the desegregation of schools in Brown v. Board of Education in 1954. Number 4. Theodore Roosevelt Theodore Roosevelt Jr. unexpectedly became the 26th President of the United States in September 1901 after the assassination of William McKinley. Young and physically robust, he brought new energy into the White House and won a second term on his own merits in 1904. Roosevelt, a Republican, confronted the bitter struggles between the management and labor head-on and became known as the Great Trust Buster for his strenuous efforts to break up industrial combinations under the Sherman Antitrust Act. He was also a dedicated conservationist 
setting aside some 200 million acres for national forest reserves and wildlife refugees during his presidency. In the foreign policy arena, Roosevelt won a Nobel Peace Prize for his negotiations to end the Russo-Japanese War and spearheaded the beginning of the construction on the Panama Canal. After leaving the White House and going on a safari in Africa, he returned to politics in 1912 mounting a failed run for president as the head of a new progressive party. Number 3. Franklin D. Roosevelt Franklin Delano Roosevelt was in his second term as governor of New York when he was elected as the nation's 32nd president in 1932. With the country mired in the depths of the Great Depression, Roosevelt immediately acted to restore public confidence proclaiming a bank holiday and speaking directly to the public in a series of radio broadcasts or fireside chats. His ambitious slate of New Deal programs and reforms redefined the role of the federal government in the lives of Americans. Re-elected by comfortable margins in 1936, 1940 and 1944, FDR led the United States from isolation to victory over Nazi Germany and its allies in World War II. He spearheaded the successful wartime alliance between Great Britain, the Soviet Union and the United States, and helped lay the groundwork for the post-war peace organization that would become the United Nations, the only American president in history to be elected four times. Roosevelt died in office in April 1945. Number 2. George Washington George Washington was commander-in-chief of the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War between 1775 to 1783 and served two terms as the first U.S. President from 1789 to 1797. The son of a prosperous planter, Washington was raised in colonial Virginia. As a young man, he worked as a surveyor then fought in the French and Indian War. During the American Revolution, he led the colonial forces to victory over the British and became a national hero. In 1787, he was elected president of the convention that wrote the US Constitution. Two years later, Washington became America's first president. Realizing that the way he handled the job would impact how future presidents approach the position, he handed down a legacy of strength, integrity, and national purpose. Less than three years after leaving office, he died at his Virginia plantation, Mount Vernon, at age 67. Number 1. Abraham Lincoln Lincoln ran for president in 1860, sweeping the North in victory. Pro-slave elements in the South equated his success with the North's rejection of their rights to practice slavery, and Southerners' state began seceding from the Union. Lincoln scrutinized the strategy and tactics in the war effort, including the selection of generals and the naval blockade of the South's trade. He suspended habeas corpus in Maryland, and he averted British interventions by diffusing the Trent Affair. He engineered the end to slavery with his Emancipation Proclamation, including his order that the Army and Navy liberate, protect, and recruit former slaves. He also encouraged border states to outlaw slavery and promoted the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution, which outlawed slavery across the country. Lincoln managed his own successful re-election campaign, he sought to heal the war-torn nation through reconciliation. On April 14, 1865, just days after the war end, at Appomattox, he was attending a play at Ford's Theatre in Washington, D.C. with his wife Mary when he was fatally shot by Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth. Lincoln is remembered as a hero of the United States and is often ranked as the greatest president in American history. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider giving it a like and do drop your comments below and do check out my other channel in the description. 
So thank you all for watching and see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye.